Apple has been very busy overnight making some big announcements, but I'm no techie. So what I want to know is, do I need to care? And if I do, what do I need to know? Good morning, and welcome to the Steve Jobs Theatre. Hi, I'm Kate, and this is Brody. He's a tech writer here at Finder. Brody's looking a little bit bleary-eyed this morning because he's been up since since three. Yes. Yes. Brody's been covering the Apple announcements today, um, and he's going to give us a rundown of everything we need to know, even if you're not a geek. We've got the. Apple Magazine subscription, Apple TV Plus subscription, Apple Arcade subscription, and then some of the boring stuff with Apple Pay and Apple Card. So I'm like, hands up, not a sort of techie person. Why would I care about what happened last night? So most t most times that these events go on, it's, it's only relevant to an Apple audience. Yeah. And you are the Apple audience, even though you don't care so much. The interesting thing here is that Apple's kind of opening up some of their services to uh, other platforms. Mm -hmm. um, so Samsung Smart TV, uh, Sony Smart TV. There's basically every subscription was announced has family sharing enabled mm -hmm. automatically, no extra charge, which is a first. Um, so whatever service that you have on your iPhone, your kids can also access on their devices. There were a lot of security updates around mm -hmm. tracking and, and you know, uh, making sure that all of the data that's handled is on device and not actually on Apple's servers. Uh, Ah, okay. Um, so yeah, there, I think you should be concerned as a parent uh, and as a yeah an Apple user, even though you're not that interested. Mm. <laughs> I have joined forces with Apple. So yeah, tell me how like you know we've already got we've already got Stan, we've got Foxtel. Why would I get Apple TV now? It's a bit of a tricky one to answer because right now the only things that have been announced are for the US. So brand new kids section, which is just like Netflix's section, actually. Awesome. So, you know, just a dedicated kids section yep. where they can't uh, explore outside of that. You've got complete control using, mm -hmm. um, also using Apple's, like, they already have their screen time feature. Oh, okay. Where you so can you control can actually how track. long. Yeah. So does that mean, like, when I'm yelling at my oldest daughter, you've been on your phone or the TV for hours, I can actually... You can just switch <laughs> can it off. I actually give her the data. Yep, the data yeah, yeah, yeah. doesn't lie. Exactly I like right. that. That's a great feature. Yeah, so there's... And they've actually taken a lot of cues from Netflix with the Apple TV update. Um, brand new UI and, you know, it looks almost identical to Netflix, which yeah. it's tried and true. Like, it's yeah. the, the best one out there, right? Yeah. So it makes sense. And um, tell me about the original content that Apple's going to be doing. Yeah, so Apple TV Plus is their kind of swing into fresh original content yeah. on demand. They had uh, Steven Spielberg on stage. They had uh, Oprah Winfrey. Wow. Um, J.J. Abrams. So, like... All the big names, uh, Jennifer mm. Aniston, Reese Witherspoon, like there's there all these shows that people have been talking about for ages. That mm. are, so these are fresh, totally original TV shows built for the platform. How it kind of differs from Netflix is that the way that Apple is going to uh, make its money via the platform, so that's, mm. a, that's the hook to get you in yeah. using that ecosystem. Right. And then how they make money is via something new, also announced today, called Apple Channels. Right. So in the US, that looks like... A, HBO service that wow. you pay maybe five dollars, mm -hmm. five to ten dollars yep. US a month, and then you can add on AMC's like right. network, and you can add on you know the horror streaming service and, and everything on top of that, and it's kind of you know you build a package out yourself. What is Apple Arcade? Ah, very interesting. So Apple Arcade is a new gaming subscription mm -hmm. service. We all play games on our iPhones from time to time, whether it's traveling, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, on our morning commute, there's a lot of sort of addictive little uh, games that you just want a quick mm -hmm. fix from. Yeah. The problem with these games, uh, especially if you have kids, is that most of them have either a lot of advertising, yeah. microtransactions, yeah. Uh, or in-app purchases that uh, lock the content on timers and yeah. you have to pay to play more. Yeah. Right? So everything that will be within the Apple Arcade mm -hmm. ecosystem, which is just another part of the App Store, mm. it's a t another tab, is you don't get any of that. Right. So these are like really quality games. A lot of Australian produced games as well, it's those sorts of games that you'll find on, yeah. on the platform. That sounds great because I was talking to some other parents about little games. Like, again, my daughters aren't massive gamers, thank God, not yet. Um, but they do like playing little games. And, and I was saying to a couple of friends, like, I'd rather pay up front for a decent game mm. that's not going to have in-app purchases, you know, and I'm going to get a bill. Or worse, just for the kids, like, it's a sort of low-quality experience. They're yeah. confused, like... <laughs> I've had them yelling and crying at me because I won't buy extra, you know, I don't know, dingleberries or whatever it is in the game, um, you know, and thinking I'm horrible or, or loaded up with ads that 
send them to other sites. And I'm not averse to paying for it, but I'd rather just have something really quality up front that I know they're going to use that's going to be decent. Exactly so right. It's, you know, um, 5 yeah. to $10 for a really quality game yeah. is a great deal. But yeah. the problem is, is that the App Store is so competitive when you've got all these free games that that's the first yes. thing people click on, yes. they're the ones that get pushed up to the top and these really, really quality experiences that cost a little bit more mm. sort of sink to the bottom. So yeah, so it's it's everything's kind of within that that section of the iOS store. So you, you just pay your subscription up front, you hand you know the device to your kid and say, look, this is the list of games yep. you've got to play you know, a hundred plus, yeah. go nuts. Like, yeah. 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 You're absolutely right. There's some really good little games out there and, you know, in between doing other things, it's, you know, a great way to kill time and learn as well. Like exactly. a couple of the games, my younger daughter, she struggled with reading and, and some of those little games we found have actually been really helpful for her comprehension and her reading. But yeah, that, that actually sounds really cool. Yeah. There's a hundred plus games at launch with yep. games constantly being added. Cool. Uh, and it's just a recurring subscription fee. Yep. So again, today was all about subscription. So that's the big mystery right now. We don't actually know how much it's going to cost per month. It's probably going to sit somewhere around the five ninety nine USD mm -hmm. uh, per month. How that translates in Australia is unknown right now. So yeah, it's, we're still going to have to wait and see. Yeah, cool. This is Apple Card. Awesome things that um, happened last night. There were improvements to the Apple, mm -hmm. Apple Pay platform. Again, a lot of US news, so they're basically incorporating like transit mm -hmm. uh, into Apple Pay, so it'll be like you'll be able to pay for your, your travel with mm -hmm. Apple Pay. They've integrated Apple Maps into the Apple Pay system, so it's like for spend management, you yep. can see exactly, you know, where you've spent your money, yep. um, which for me, it's just going to show like basically every cafe on this block. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah. And the the other features are it's using machine learning to kind of figure out what you're actually spending your money on in a really clever way. So using maps and yeah. machine learning, yeah. it will like over time will translate those sort of recurring expenses mm. and figure out exactly like what it is. Wow. Um, so yeah. it'll just yeah, it'll say, you know, this is a small purchase from your local seven eleven yeah. or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's actually really cool. It's a yeah. great way great way to keep an eye on your spending as well, probably because it might guilt me into buying less coffee. Yeah, exactly um. right. <laughs> First of all, uh, I hear there's talk of news, magazines, things like that. What's the story there? Yeah, so there's an update to the uh, Apple News app. Apple News has become the number one app for news consumption. Wow. Uh, and sort of the one thing that Tim Cook said when they kicked off this presentation was that the one thing missing is, you know, your classic magazine experiences, the, the subscriptions that people like know and love, Nat Geo, mm -hmm. um, you know, Vanity Fair, all <gasps> love that sort Vanity of stuff. Fair. And the new magazine section of the uh, Apple News Plus uh, app is totally subscription based. It's going to start at $9.99 USD per month. Mm -hmm. uh, and they estimated that all up for everything that you get, uh, it would cost you about $8,000 US a year to subscribe to all the magazines that they wow. currently have on offer. Okay, that's, that's, yeah, that's pretty interesting. So, magazines for me, more games for the kids that aren't rubbish. Exactly right. <laughs> more screen time, but hey, <laughs> that's, uh, that's the way of the world. Apple! So, I have to admit, maybe I've been converted from being a little bit dubious about this to looking forward to better quality games for my kids and some more excellent original content coming up. Brady, what are, what are your takeouts? What are you excited about? I'm really excited about Apple Arcade. So, yeah. just that idea of having all your games in one place, one subscription fee, yeah. I guess the devil in the detail is finding out what it's going to look like in Australia. Exactly right. Yeah. So we do know it's going to release later this year uh, and sort of same goes for Apple TV Plus in the US, but Australian release is still a mystery. Watch. So what are you guys most excited about? Let us know in the comments and if you want more in-depth information, click on the links below.